Hi, this is Presh Talker. This math problem went viral after it was asked to British high school students on a compulsory exam. There are n sweets in a bag. Six of the sweets are orange, the rest of the sweets are yellow. Hannah takes a random sweet from the bag. She eats the sweet. Hannah then takes at random another sweet from the bag. She eats the sweet. The probability that Hannah eats two orange sweets is one third. Show that n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero. Many people react to this problem by thinking it's impossible. Oh my gosh, we have a quadratic equation that results from a probability problem. What does that have to do with eating sweets? This is impossible. We need to get rid of this exam. Let's sign a petition. Can you figure out this problem? Let's work through it step by step. We know that the probability that Hannah eats two orange sweets is one third. We'll write that as a statement that the probability of two orange sweets is one third. That means the first and second draws are equal to one third. And that means the probability of the first draw times the probability of the second conditional on the first is also equal to one third. Now we need to figure out what the probability of the first draw being orange and the probability of the second draw being orange conditional on the first draw being orange. So let's work out the probability the first draw is orange. This is the number of orange sweets divided by the total number of sweets in the bag. There are six orange sweets and there are n sweets in the bag. We don't know what n is, n is a variable, but the total number is equal to n. So we can write this, that the probability of drawing the first sweet is orange is 6 divided by n. The probability that she draws another orange sweet is a little trickier. We need to take into account she's already removed one orange sweet from the bag. So there will be one fewer orange sweet and there will be one fewer sweet in total. You can think about this like drawing cards from a deck. If you draw an ace from the deck, what remains in the deck will have one fewer ace and one fewer card. So we have one fewer orange sweet, which is five, and we have one fewer candies in total, which means n minus one. So the conditional probability of drawing the second sweet as orange is five divided by n minus one. We go back to our equation that the probability that she drew two sweets in a row was one third. We multiply these together, then we rearrange and simplify, so we get 30 divided by n squared minus n equals 1 third. Then we cross multiply, so 90 is equal to n squared minus n. And then we rearrange, so we have n squared minus n minus 90 is equal to 0. That's what the first part of the problem wanted you to prove. And it's kind of interesting, you can get to this level without knowing how many sweets there are in the bag. What if you didn't know all this? What if you just said, all right, n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero. Let's say we wanted to check our work that this actually works. So we factor this into n minus 10 times n plus nine equals zero, which means n is either equal to 10 or minus nine. We can't have minus nine because the number of candies in the bag should be a positive number. So we have n equals 10. So let's check if this actually works out. If she draws an orange sweet on the first draw, that'll be six over 10. And then the second draw will be five over nine. Multiplying these together, we do in fact get one third. So there are 10 sweets in the bag of which six are orange. And in those conditions, Hannah would draw two orange sweets in a row, one out of every three times. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, where I cover problems like this every single week in a Monday puzzle or Sunday puzzle. You can also follow my blog on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me at Presh Talwalker on a bunch of social media sites. And check out my books. I write a bunch of books about math. If you read my books about math puzzles, you would have been able to solve this problem in a cinch. Thanks for watching.